when you search and you continue to search, you know, and you get enlightened in moments, you want to scream it out to everybody. What's wrong with Ryan Garcia? This past year has been a roller coaster for Ryan Garcia with some worrying changes, particularly in his physical appearance. In just a few months, Garcia's face has become puffy and bloated, a stark contrast to his previously angular features. This isn't just due to weight gain. It seems more serious. Even during his heaviest weigh in before his December 2023 fight against Oscar Duarte, he looked normal. Garcia's appearance isn't the only change. His voice has transformed from medium pitch to deep and raspy, and he's developed a twitch he never had before. Known for his lightning fast hand speed and explosive power, Garcia has achieved 20 knockouts in his 24 wins. Outside the ring, he embraced social media, amassing over 10 million Instagram followers and 6 million on TikTok. The biggest test of Garcia's career was his April 2023 fight against Gervonta Tank Davis. Despite the catchweight and rehydration clause favoring Davis, Garcia accepted the conditions showing a champion's heart. However, Davis outclassed him, leading to a knockout in the seventh round. Though Garcia lost, he handled it with grace, walking away with a $30 million payday from over 1.2 million Tadi per view sales. After his fight with Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia's relationship with Golden Boy promotions soured. Garcia felt abandoned when his promoters, Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, didn't show up at the post-fight press conference. De La Hoya later posted a video explaining their absence, citing safety concerns and a ban on Hopkins due to a misunderstanding at the weigh-in. Fans were skeptical, believing they would have attended if Garcia had won. In June 2023, Ryan tried to terminate his contract with Golden Boy, claiming contradictions in the agreement, However, Golden Boy filed a lawsuit against him, leading to a public legal battle. In December 2023, Garcia fought Oscar Duarte, another Golden Boy fighter. Tensions were high, with Hopkins doubting Garcia's future in boxing. Garcia called out Hopkins and De La Hoya during a press conference, feeling they were backing Duarte. Despite this, Garcia won the fight with an eighth round knockout, showing improvement since his loss to Davis. However, Garcia's personal life took a hit. On January 6, 2024, he announced the birth of his first son with wife Andrea Selena, then revealed their divorce just hours later. His appearance on the PBE podcast later that month showed troubling changes. A puffy, red face, a twitch, and a deeper voice. His unusual behavior during the interview raised concerns about his well-being on February 9. It was confirmed that Garcia would fight Devin Haney on April 20, 2024, renewing their rivalry from amateur days. Haney is still undefeated and poses an even greater challenge than Gravana Davis. With such a huge fight on the horizon, you'd expect Garcia to be focused and prepared. However, he's been the opposite, starting beef with various people. Shortly after the fight announcement, he got into a heated Twitter exchange with influencer Bryce. Ryan accused Bryce of owing his dad money to which Bryce responded by claiming Ryan has a gambling problem, especially at high-stakes poker tables in LA. Bryce stated that Ryan wanted to start a Twitter fight over $10,000 he allegedly owed. Bryce claimed that despite Ryan's gambling losses, he could easily pay the $10,000. The two continued to insult each other, but it's unclear if Bryce ever paid Ryan. Bryce's gambling accusations gained more attention when he discussed them on a podcast claiming Ryan loses millions at poker games. In response, Ryan claimed to be a billionaire and promised to share his story. However, the same day, he posted an Instagram video trying to sell a rare Gucci bag for $350,000. Ryan fired back on Twitter, threatening to fight Shia and mocking his rap skills. Despite these distractions, Ryan appeared on Ariel Helwani's podcast to discuss his situation further. At this point, Ryan Garcia's behavior seemed increasingly concerning. During a podcast, his twitch became uncontrollable and he unexpectedly called out MMA fighter Ali, the current UFC Bantamweight champion. Ryan boasted about his wrestling skills and claimed he could defeat Ali in an MMA fight, saying he even texted Dana White to arrange it but got no response. 
This pursuit puzzled many since there's more money in boxing and Ryan's chances of winning in MMA are slim. Ali and his coach responded by mocking Ryan and Oscar De La Hoya, suggesting Ryan might be following De La Hoya's troubled path. They even joked about Ryan's unrealistic claims of fighting in MMA. Ali later appeared on a podcast, confidently stating he could defeat Ryan quickly in an MMA bout. Stans grew worried that Ryan wasn't focusing on his upcoming fight, with Devin Haney questioning his health and mental state due to his recent changes in appearance and behavior. Despite these concerns, Ryan tried to silence doubts during the first press conference for the fight on February 27th. He talked about aiming for legacy and belts, declaring he was ready to fight Haney. However, Haney claimed Ryan was drunk during the press conference and expressed hope that Ryan would get himself together before the fight. He also criticized Ryan for engaging in unnecessary feuds on social media, questioning his seriousness and readiness for their bout. Devin Haney accused him of being an alcoholic, saying no one knows which version of Ryan will show up for a fight. The day after this accusation, Ryan admitted on a Twitter space that his training was going well, but later, during their second press conference on February 29th, things got heated. Haney mocked Ryan, accusing him of needing alcohol and possibly drugs to talk confidently. Ryan, visibly upset, defended himself, denying cocaine use but admitting to drinking and smoking weed. He even offered to take a live drug test to prove his innocence. Ryan emphasized that he's only 25 and handling the pressures of fame and wealth as best he can. On April 20, at the Barclays Center, Ryan Garcia faced not only WBC champion Devin Haney, but also controversial officiating. Despite dropping Haney in the seventh round, referee Harvey Duck deducted a point from Garcia for punching on the break, and a judge's unusual 112-112 score added to the controversy. After his victory, Garcia vented his frustrations on TikTok, claiming he had to overcome the Illuminati, the referee, and Haney to win. He celebrated his triumph, emphasizing his perseverance and faith, saying, I took on the Illuminati, the ref, and Devin Haney, and I cracked them all. God did. Jesus is king. In May, Controversy surrounded Garcia again after he tested positive for Osterine, a banned performance-enhancing drug, following his victory over Haney. Garcia denied knowingly taking any PEDS, but both his A and B samples tested positive. The New York State Athletic Commission is currently reviewing the case, or even a no-contest ruling for the fight. Despite trying to clear the air, Ryan's situation seems to be worsening. Accusations? and his erratic behavior have raised serious concerns about his health and future in boxing. Stay tuned for more updates on Ryan Garcia's ongoing struggles.